What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. My name is Scott and this is part 2 of the Thug build, how to get it all the way to level 30. This is our recommended settings. So first, straight away what we're going to do is invest in explosives a bunch more, get it up to about 60 so that we can make the best use of our dynamites. We get, we get a lot of dynamite early on. So straight away we get to that difficult part where we have to uh, decide what we are picking. Now uh, you could pick this, 75% uh, critical damage against animals and mutated animals. So against animals and mutated animals it would completely, uh, well, pretty much, it would ne negate somewhat, I'm not sure about the math of it, but um, the heavy handed 60% loss to critical damage because we have all around more heavy handed damage. But um, instead, so that that's, let's just do that one. I'll do that one because it's survival and, you know, who doesn't like punching mutated animals? Now we will go with unarmed a whole lot more. Uh, get our, our survivals aware, ready where we need it to be for the moment. Um, we will get travel light, uh, which gives us, you can get educated if you want, but for this kind of character, he's a thug, so I'm going to role play otherwise. Uh, edu uh, so travel light, we run 10% fast without light armor or no armor, so we're wearing light armor and we can run up to them and, you know, just clock them in the face or we can throw an explosive from afar and sort of be maneuverable. Um, and it's also just fun. Um, we'll go with unarmed and we'll go into unarmed again. And now we have demolitions expert is what we've got to pick. Uh, we'll get rank one. We're going to get all three ranks of Demolitions Experts, so there will be quite a bit of Demolition Expertise for this character. Uh, we don't really need to work on Repair or Lockpick the Minor Skills until later. You can if you want, but I'm going to focus on getting those Explosives and Unarmed Skills maxed. So we're at level 8, we'll pick Demolitions Expert 2. And now we've got Explosives maxed, focus on Unarmed, and then bingo! We've got Unarmed maxed as well. So now we can focus on just survival, uh, and we'll get actually focus a little bit into repair as well. So uh, we get no piercing strike is level twelve. So let's um, get the final rank of demolitions expert. Um, all we'll do is focus on repair a little bit because it will start being quite useful. Um, repair. So what have we? Uh, piercing strike. We'll get piercing strike. Uh, these are all pretty much all central perks so far, except Hunter, the first one we picked. Um, so we got Piercing Strike, really important for any melee or unarmed character, because uh, that uh, negated 15 damage threshold is really, really powerful. Um, we get Repair Up. Continue getting that good old Repair Up. Uh, what options do we have? Now, there are choices here. Now we could do this, Purifier of the Wasteland, 50% um, um, more damage. You know what though, what I'll do first is I'll focus on what we've marked as essentials first. We've got hit the deck, we've got splash damage. So what I might do is do splash damage. We've got splash damage. Um, let's get some lock pick. I'll get some more lock pick so we can do average locks. Now what we want to do is get, I think we'll go with um, hit the deck, just because we've got these uh, wide range explosives now doing lots more damage, so we want that extra extra 25 damage threshold against them, even our own. And that's basically one of the main uh, reasons for that. And it also helps when we're like, you know, charging in, we step on a mine or something like that. Um, we'll get lock pick up, let's focus on repair a little more, and... Um, now, what do we have? We have... Let's focus on... Uh, let's get this, which is an interesting one, because we can still get toughness and life giver later. That's just sort of bolstering our character a bit more. If you feel that you're not, um, you know, taking a huge amount of uh, damage and you're managing with, like, the lots of endurance that you already have, I'll get Paralyzing Palm, which is a cool little thing, and it's sort of representing this guy's um, martial arts prowess. Being able to paralyze a opponent for 30 seconds is quite useful in combat. And uh, it'll be really nice when we uh, combine that with the uh, special um, unarmed perks that you uh, get throughout your playthrough. Like the Legion Assault takedown. Uh, let's 
yeah, we'll keep working on repair. We may as well just clean up repair and lockpick. Now we'll get our, um, what else do we have? All right, let's hit up. Uh, let's hit up our toughness now. We'll get those two ranks of toughness that we need. Uh, you see, this character is very fleshed out with his perks. You um, you can just sort of follow our guide, and there's basically every perk he um, will want to need. Uh, so now we need to focus on survival a bit. I sort of neglected it a little bit, but it's just because perks aren't as dependent on it. And let's face it, besides the cool perks that you can get, um, it's not very necessary. Um, you know, unless you're playing hardcore mode or something. So let's get toughness two, and now we'll go get our survival up to par. And what we'll do is now we'll get the life giver perk. Those are 30 extra hit points, um, always fun, making us that little bit extra tankier. Uh, and now we've come to an end on the major and minor skills. Uh, we could always move into other things, maybe medicine. I'm going to say medicine, so instead of thinking like, oh, scientific medicine, think more like first aid. He needs to be know how to uh, heal himself and look after himself. And now, we've got the perk Slayer, uh, which ups our, uh, the speed of our attacks by 30%, which makes, makes us even faster at our martial arts with our spiked knuckles, love and hate. And we're like throwing explosives everywhere and then punching the shit out of people, so real... Thug life attitude. Um, now we'll... Uh, what were we doing? What were we doing? Medicine. Uh, it was a more practical skill. Uh, now we're at 28. And now we've run out of a central perk. So there's a lot of options. Um, I would go through... I would consider purifier. Jury rigging is always great. And I'm very tempted. I might actually get that adamantium skeleton especially with all the explosives that reduce 50% limb damage is a big help. Um, what I might do, I think I'll go with jury rigging, just because love and hate, you can only repair with brass knuckles and spiked knuckles, and normally, and that's kind of rare, so we'll get jury rigging so we have more uh, repair options. Um, you could get that earlier if you like, because remember, this is just me console commanding it and just going through and just giving you an example of what your development should look like. So now we will go and have a quick look. Nerves of steel. You could get this slow-mo explosives. It's not really as useful for that. So I would say let's go with Purifier. Purifier is actually a really good perk if you're fighting Death Claws. Mm, then again, we might not be fighting Death Claws and Super Mutants really as much with melee and unarmed. It might be more wise to use explosives. So maybe Adamantium Skeleton so that we uh, get 50% of reduced damage when we're throwing explosives everywhere and sometimes we do manage to hit ourselves and we won't be crippled and slowed. So, thank you very much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scott from Fight Up, but all our social media links are in the description and I'd love to thank you guys for tuning in to all our Fallout 4 discussions and videos and all that kind of stuff and I will like to confirm, like a lot of people have been asking, we will definitely be doing Fallout 4 builds no matter what the uh, skill leveling up system looks like and how it's changed. Uh, there'll definitely be enough RPG aspects to make a build, so don't worry at all. Anyways... Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.